All right, so we did get an update on Samsung Galaxy One UI home application and I did make a video on it yesterday and this update brings in some uh, performance improvements, bug fixes and supports new features of Task Changer as well. Now there is one cool new feature which I could not share it in my previous video. In fact, I did not recognize that feature before making the video and then I found out this feature and in fact one of the community members who goes by the name Clickbaita did mention about this all new feature. This feature is going to be really useful. You must check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right. Now the prerequisite for this feature to work is the home up module in which you have to enable the task changer feature. Now I have this task changer feature enabled on my phone. Let me just go ahead and open few applications here. Now we have few apps open. Now let me just swipe up to see the recently used applications. Now here you can see at the left hand side bottom corner there is an all new icon sitting here. It's more like a grid icon. When you tap on this, it straight away takes you to the split screen view. The recently used application will open up on top and you will see the select split screen application window at the bottom. Here as usual you can select any application you want and open that in split screen view. This is a new addition here. Now here on this Note 10 Plus, I have not received the update for One UI Home. Now here I'll show you, I can just swipe up to see the recently used application. We don't see this new icon here. So this is available with the Samsung One UI Home application update. Now again, if I go to the recently used application, you can see the split screen view will still remain in the recently used apps. Now this feature will only work when you have all those applications which support split screen view are opened in the background. Now for example, let me just open this Samsung Global Goals app. Now this app does not support split screen view. When I open this and when I go to recently used applications, this icon is disabled. So that's how it works. Now it looks like this feature is associated with the task changer feature on home up module which is supported by this all new One UI home application. This is definitely a very useful feature which many of us are going to use. Do check this out and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below and if you have noticed any other changes with this update do leave a comment. All these new features are welcome changes even though they are minor they are going to be really useful. It's good to see Samsung tweaking these applications and offering some cool new features every now and then. And these changes improves the features on the apps and makes them more usable. Every day I'm kind of excited to see all these new changes, new updates and new improvements. And it's a pleasure to share it with you guys. Anyways, that's all I have here in this video. If you're new on the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button to be a part of Apex community and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Until the next one, you guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.